Thank you for coming to our presentation for our uh, new result for attribute based encryption. And this is a joint work with uh, Natapon from IST, and I am Junichi from NT. Attribute based encryption is a generalization of public key encryption and which specifies a, a predicate P. A predicate P decides what kind of access control is possible for encrypted data. Uh, attribute based encryption consists of uh, four algorithms setup algorithm outputs public key and master secret key. A key generation algorithm takes master secret key and key attribute Y and output a secret key for uh, attribute Y. Encryption algorithm takes public key and message and uh, ciphertext attribute X and output a ciphertext for X. Decryption is possible for ciphertext uh, if the attribute X and Y satisfies the predicate P. I will give some examples for predicates. Identity-based encryption is the simplest example for a class of ABE and in which attributes X and Y satisfies the predicate P if uh, X equals to Y. Inner product encryption is also well known for a class of ABE and in which uh, x and y are vectors and x and y satisfies uh, p when uh, vector x and vector y are orthogonal. In ABE for Boolean formulas, uh, x is a uh, n bit string and y is uh, uh, an input Boolean formula. And x and f satisfy the predicate p when f of x is equal to 1. The standard notion, standard security notion for attribute based encryption is adaptive security or corrosion resistance. That is, gathering uh, unqualified secret keys is not helpful for decrypting a uh, ciphertext. Concretely, we consider the following game. In which the adversary is given a public key and it can make a secret key queries for its choice of Y. And it can also make a challenge ciphertext query in which it sends M0 and M1 and challenge attribute X and it is given a ciphertext for a bit B chosen by the challenger. And finally, adversary outputs a bit B prime and if uh, the prob probability of uh, B prime equals to B is negligible then the scheme is said to be adaptively secure. Now, of course the adversary cannot ask the secret key which can decrypt the challenge ciphertext. What we want to do in this work is uh, constructing an expressive predicate by combining existing predicates. Uh, let us give an example of conjunction of predicates. Let P1 and P2 be predicates and consider a conjunction of P1 and P2 in which uh, P1 and P2 is satisfied by if P1 of X1 and Y1 is equal to 1 and P2 of X2 and Y2 is equal to 1. And our uh, goal is to construct an ABE for P1 and P2 from ABE schemes for P1 and P2. 
it is known that uh, there are two types of predicate compositions, uh, which is static and dynamic. The first one is uh, static compositions, and in an AB scheme for statically composed predicates, uh, the composition policy is already fixed in the setup phase, and uh, in the case of this slide, the composed uh, policy is P1 and P2 or P3. In the Secret key generation, uh, the key attribute Y1 and Y2 and Y3 is decided. Similarly, uh, in the encryption algorithm, uh, ciphertext attribute X1 and X2 and X3 is uh, decided. And in decryption, uh, the policy is evaluated by the uh, secret key attribute and ciphertext attribute and if uh, p1 is satisfied and p2 is not satisfied and p3 is satisfied by these uh, ciphertext attribute and secret key attributes then the evaluation of this uh, policy is 1 so the ciphertext is decryptable by the secret key. The second is dynamic compositions. Dynamic compositions are classified into two types, a key policy and ciphertext policy. In this slide, I will explain the key policy dynamic compositions. In this case, ingredients predicates P1, P2, P3 and composition class is fixed at the setup phase, but concrete composition policies are not fixed at this time, at this point. The concrete composition policy is decided at the secret key generation as well as key attributes. In encryption, ciphertext attributes are decided. And in decryption, the composition policy is evaluated by P1 and P2 and P3 with uh, key attributes and ciphertext attributes. For example, if P1 is satisfied, P2 is not satisfied, and P3 is satisfied, then this policy is satisfied, so the ciphertext can be decrypted. As long as the policy belongs to the composition class, uh, we can use any policies in the key generation. And the uh, unbounded composition, uh, which is used in the title of this paper, means that the number of input for policy is not bounded at the setup. While dynamic compositions of predicates are interesting in themselves, Atarpadang showed that dynamic compositions of predicates are useful to instantiate new AB schemes. For example, KP or CP ABE simultaneously satisfying these properties. And these properties are very important properties for ABEs. And concretely, these ABEs are instantiated by the composition of IBE and NIBE, where NIBE is a uh, negation of IBE. And before Atropadung proposed these dynamic compositions, there have been no constructions of ABEs that satisfy these properties. However, the Atropadung's technique need parameterized assumptions or Q-type assumptions 
So natural question here is, can we achieve the ABE with dynamic compositions from standard assumptions? Because if we have such a framework, then we can appreciate new ABEs that satisfies these properties from standard, standard assumptions. The main contribution of this paper is proposing a new framework to achieve dynamic predicate compositions from standard assumptions. But uh, we need some restrictions for achieving this framework compared with the other patterns framework. Concretely, uh, we need restrictions for composition class and ingredient ABEs. For composition class, in Atrapadung's framework, uh, we can use spam programs and branching programs and DFA for compositions, while uh, we can only use Boolean formulas in our framework. A Boolean formulas is included in spam programs and branching programs. And next, uh, we need uh, we also need restrictions for ingredient ABEs, and uh, in after patterns framework, ingredient ABEs need to have symbolic property, while uh, in our framework, uh, the ABEs need to have perfectly master key hiding property, which is a uh, Formation theoretic property. And basically, it is the uh, same as ABEs that is captured by predicate encodings by V. But we show that these are still our framework is powerful enough to achieve many new ABEs even though these restrictions are necessary. This is because IBE and NIBE has a perfectly master key hiding property. Before explaining details of dynamic compositions, uh, we intro introduce the name for the predicate of dynamic compositions. That is, uh, this slide shows that uh, ABE that is obtained from KP dynamic composition over predicate set P, which consists of P1, P2, and P3. And uh, we denote the predicate KP dynamic compositions over P by KP of predicate set P. First, I will explain how to obtain the predicate KP of P. Uh, this predicate is obtained by applying KP transformation from predicate set P. And Atra pattern showed that the KP transformation can be decomposed into three simpler predicate transformations, namely direct sum, dual, and KP augmentation of a single predicate, which is denoted by KP1. We briefly recall these three predicate transformations. Direct sum is a transformation for combining many predicates into one predicate. Dual is a transformation for switching the key attribute, the key attribute domain and cipher text attribute domain. KP1 is a transformation for injecting a policy to the key attribute domain. So far, I have explained how to obtain a predicate KP of P. Next, 
I will explain how to construct a concrete AB scheme for a predicate KP of P. To explain it, first I will recall pair encoding scheme. A pair encoding scheme is a concise expression of an AB scheme by polynomials. Let us give an example. A ciphertext and a secret key of Bonne Boyen IBE is given like this. Then, a pass for Bonne Boyen IBE is given by two polynomials. The ciphertext polynomial Cx is a polynomial over S, S hat, and W. And a key polynomial Ky is a polynomial over alpha, r, r hat, and w. And basically, these polynomials represent the exponents of the ciphertext group elements and the secret key group elements. So, uh, from a pairing, pair encoding scheme and uh, group description, we can recover our AB scheme. As explained earlier, uh, the predicate Kp of P can be obtained by applying uh, three transformations for predicates, that is, direct sum and dual and Kp1, to uh, the predicate the set P. Atra Padung showed that uh, there exist uh, corresponding, corresponding transformations for direct sum and dual and Kp1. So, uh, we can obtain a pair encoding scheme for the predicate Kp of P by applying the <coughs> predicate encoding scheme transformations for direct sum and dual and Kp1 to a pair encoding schemes for P1 to, to Pn. The last thing we need to consider is uh, how, how to prove the security of the resulting AB schemes. In Atarapadeng's work, uh, he proved the security of AB schemes as follows. Uh, the security of his schemes is uh, based on the following three facts. The first one is that Aguilar and Chase showed that all meaningful pen codex schemes have the symbolic property, and I will not go into the detail of symbolic property here, but if interested in the symbolic property, please look at the paper by Agrawal and Chase. The second is that the symbolic property is preserved through the three transformations. So the uh, pair encoding scheme for Kp of P has a symbolic property. And the last is Agrawal and Chase shows that we can construct an AB scheme AB schemes from a pair encoding scheme with simple property, which is adaptively secure under the curation assumption. So we can achieve uh, AB schemes for KP of P, uh, which is adaptively secure under the curation assumption. So, as long as we rely on symbolic property, we need a Q type assumption to prove the security of AB schemes. To take the similar strategy to uh, Atara Padung's technique, uh, we introduce a new property for pair encoding schemes called key encoding indistinguishability, or KEIND for short. In this work, we proved the following three theorems for KEIND. The first is a pair encoding scheme with the perfectly master key hiding property satisfies k end under the MDDH assumption. The second is k end is preserved through the basic three transformations for pair encoding scheme under the MDDH assumption. The third is uh, we can construct an AB scheme from pair encoding scheme with k end which is adaptively secure under the MDDH assumption. So, as long as the starting pen coding schemes satisfy the master key, 
perfectly Masaki hiding property, we can construct a, an AB scheme for KP of P for the basic predi predicates following the, our following our framework in a modular manner. Let us give an intuition for what kind of property K in is. First, recall computationally master key hiding property of pair encoding scheme, which states that um, the master secret key element alpha is computationally hidden in, on the exponent of semi-functional group element if the predicate is not satisfied by X and Y. And we found that the CMH is not preserved in the basic three transformations, so we modified CMH so that it is preserved in these three transformations to obtain K in. And K in basically states that a normal secret key of L and semi functional secret key of L are uh, computationally indistinguishable in composite order groups of order L, which consists of Z primes. And uh, <coughs> normal secret key of L and the semi-functional secret key of L is given by below. And we also showed that uh, K-Ind is used for the dual system encryption technique, similarly to CMH, to prove the adaptive security of AB schemes. And we emphasize that this definition of K-Ind is informal. It, it is a just definition for intuition. Similarly to Atrapadam's work, we can instantiate many new ABEs via unbounded compositions in ABE. The most notable one is new unbounded ABEs from standard assumptions. Currently, the state of the art of the unbounded ABEs in the standard model is uh, ABE by Quarchik and we. And their AB scheme satisfies uh, pri prime order groups and allows predictive security and compactness and standard assumptions. And also, they construct only KPAB scheme. By using our framework, we can instantiate additionally satisfies large universe construction and non monotone ABE and cipher text policy variant in the modular manner. As other instantiations, we can also construct new AB schemes with constant size cipher text and secret keys in modular manner. In summary, we achieved unbounded dynamic compositions in ABE from standard, standard assumptions in this paper. And to achieve that, uh, we introduced a new property for pair encoding schemes that is called K-IND. And using our framework, we can instantiate new ABE schemes uh, from uh, a standard assumption which are not known before our work. And as open problems, uh, first one is how to weaken the requirements for ingredient predicate encoding schemes because in our framework, the ingredient predicate encoding schemes need to have perfectly master key hiding property. And the second is uh, how to obtain compositions for spam programs and branching programs and be away from standard assumptions because our work in our framework the compositions are limited for limited to only Boolean formula. 
This is the end of my talk. Thank you for your attention.